You might feel like you're peeing, but don't worry, you're not peeing. Those are the words the technician was telling me as he prepared my meds in the CT machine. This experience as my first CT scan was quite interesting as it came in an emergency fashion. This story starts as I actually started my second level prep for a colonoscopy. You guys actually saw the prep for my third colonoscopy and I actually talk about the fact that I was an emerge the last time and this is actually that story. So if you guys have been following along with me for a while, I know that was a little complicated, but essentially the prep that I videoed for you, I speak about an emergency that happened six months earlier and this is that video. I actually had to get a CT scan during that experience and it was due to uh, what we thought was a potential blockage in my upper bowel. So inside after the stomach, but essentially inside the first section of the connection between your stomach and your intestine. And unfortunately, when you do a scope, so when you get your bowels scoped for a colonoscopy, the colonoscopy doesn't quite get that high. And my doctor was concerned about a rupture due to the fact that I was not able to finish my prep, which meant that I was not able to go to the bathroom for about two days prior to my colonoscopy, which is why I was in emerge of the night prior to my colonoscopy, which was quite an experience. It was actually April of 2020. We were right in the mad dash of the pandemic and um, it was it was a scary experience. We could talk about the entire pandemic experience of that hospital stay. If you're interested in that video, you can let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, that 24 hours in hospital in the midst of a pandemic was quite the experience. From a CT scan perspective, I don't think much was different other than probably some additional PPE gowns and things that probably you don't see anymore now, but from a procedure perspective, I don't think anything was very different. So I had my colonoscopy done. There was this concern that I may have ruptured that section of my bowel. And so they brought me into the CT scanner via emergency. So I was in an emergency bed, which is pretty standard for the CT scanner, large medical bed. I already had an IV in, so I would assume that if you weren't coming in via Emerge, you'd be getting an IV put in no matter what, because they have to inject this liquid. And that liquid is what helps the CT scanner take the imaging um, and those moving images that you sometimes see in movies and shows and stuff. That is that fluid that goes through your body uh, that helps them get that imaging. And so what I didn't know at the time was for them to be able to get that imaging, that liquid actually makes you feel like you want to pee. And this is something I was a little shocked by with the last 24 hours of my life being a little crazy. It was kind of the last thing I expected the technician to tell me. As soon as they brought us in, of course, the machine is standing there. It's not like an MRI. I kind of, that's kind of the realm of the world I thought I was going into. I would had so many MRIs before. If you guys are interested in my MRI experiences and the very first one I had, we have a video on that in my first procedures playlist that'll be at the end of this video. And so I thought it was more of that style of machine. It's smaller in the sense that an MRI machine is a big tube, whereas the CT scanner was essentially this big arm and that arm was the part that moved. So hence the bed, it actually like moved over you instead of you moving in and out of the machine, which is more of the MRI style. And so I thought that was interesting. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna kind of sit here, which is fine. It meant that I didn't have to move, which was nice, which is usually the case is, you know, when you're getting x-rays and MRIs and stuff, you're the one moving, not the other way around. So that was an interesting difference. And I guess that maybe makes sense because they often use CTs 
in emergency, emergency circumstances when people are in car accidents and things like that. And I guess that makes sense. If patients aren't able to move, it's kind of that like, we don't have any other choice, kind of straight to the CT machine kind of situation. So that was a really interesting experience for me. I had had all these other procedures done. CT was kind of the last thing on the list, on that bucket list of procedures <laughs> that everyone has. That was kind of a, we kind of joked when I came back from hospital that I had filled bingo, that I had had all the major procedures done. So that was a, a big joke in, in the family for a little while, which seems morbid, but we, we still joke about it to this day how the CT scanner was, was my last one of these kind of systematic procedures that a lot of people get. Once that, once that liquid goes in and they take their couple images, I primarily got a mid body and lower body CT done. And so within 15 minutes, we were in and out. That peeing sensation was by far the oddest thing about the procedure. It's something that I wasn't expecting. It's something that no one had ever told me before. And I do know people who have had them. So that was interesting that no one had previously kind of mentioned it. And you'd think that's kind of odd that I hadn't heard about it before, but that was kind of an interesting fact about that procedure. And it comes straight from the brain. It's a signal from this medication and it's just what it does. So it's something that about 80 to 90% of patients will, will have during this procedure. So. I'd expect most people would. It's just, it's a weird one. Add it to the list of weird symptoms I've had in my life. I hope you guys have enjoyed the journey of my first CT scan. If you guys have any other questions or are curious about anything else, please leave me a comment down below and we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to slow your roll. Interested in any of my other first procedures, check them out over here.